Okay, so here is your five minute summary of the candidates test. All right, first of all, it's the first of three tests for uh, uh, finding mins and maxes of functions. We got the candidates test, we got the first derivative test, and the second derivative test. So make sure you also study the second derivative and first derivative test and make sure you know when they are appropriate to use. So the candidates test is for finding absolute mins and maxes on a closed interval. That's the only situation that it can be used in. All right, so here, here's how it goes. Um, so if we've got a function, y equals f of x, and we want to find its absolute min or max on this closed interval, the first thing we're going to need to do is find where f of x is equal to 0 or does not exist. Okay. Uh, f prime, so you've got to calculate f prime, you've got to set it equal to 0, and then you've got to solve here. Now, the D and E case is going to be rare on the AP exam, and the method you're going to determine that is going to, going to vary depending on what the function is. But if, if F prime is a continuous function, you don't have to worry about uh, does not exist. So only place you have to worry about this is that F is not differentiable, or, which means F prime not continuous. Most of the time on the on the quiz or test, you won't have to worry about that second case. All right. So then, what we're going to do is we're going to call the the we're going to call the solutions to f prime equal f prime of x equals zero. We're going to call those. I'm going to say that's those are. Let's just say there's one of them, and that is a a critical number. Okay. Maybe there there could be there could be multiple of these. Maybe it's x. Maybe there's c one. C2, all right, there could be, you know, there could be as many critical numbers as you as you could find. So we'll just say, okay, critical numbers. So what we're then we're gonna do is we're going to identify candidates. Those candidates are always going to be the critical numbers and the endpoints. Like I said, the, the candidate says can only be used for a closed interval, so that means that they have to give you a closed interval with the problem. So let's say our closed interval is from A to B. You might also see that written as a double inequality with equals bars on the on the on the two less than symbols. Okay, so we're going to so that so we've got x equals c1 dot 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 all the all the critical numbers and uh, a B. Okay, so then we make a table of values. The table of values has all our candidates in it C1, C2, da, 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 you know, however many uh, critical points there are. And actually, let me adjust a little bit because those critical numbers must be between A and B. If we have critical numbers here that are, uh, they must be in the interval A, B. If they're outside the interval, we do not consider them. Then we're gonna, so down here in our table, we're going to calculate the value of the function at each of these. So f of a, f of c1, dot, 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 f of cn, however many critical numbers there are, and f of b. Now, um, then we, the fourth step is just to mm -hmm. identify the absolute min or max in the f of x column. And so one might say, so the answer might look like this. Uh, f of x has an absolute max or min of, I'm just gonna call it big M, all right, whatever the, so let's say for example that big M was f of c1 um, at x equals, okay, we got to give the equation, okay, the allocation, so that's at c1. So now that is a, that's an example. You're going to fill in the, the y value, or the f of x value, here, and then give the location here. And that, sh and this, uh, if you follow this method, this should get you full credit on any problem that requires the candidate's test.